You laugh like, did that Christian laugh like hell? From <laughs> 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 what my memory was, we had these close ups uh, when I think we were making the chainsaw. There's something about the chainsaw, this has been a long time ago. And Sam asked me to stand in when Bruce was supposed to be looking kind of longingly, lovingly at me. He wanted me to stand there so Bruce could really look at me. So I thought, oh, that's good acting, right? So I'm standing there and I'm trying to look really like supportive and pretty. And, and then when it was his time to stand in there for me, <laughs> he's like, thanks a lot, buddy. You would paint me as an unprofessional. <laughs> I challenge that, ladies. I was doing this. <laughs> Are we still good? We're not going back to you, are we, Dan? No, I've shared enough, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Dear God, a good start. Hal, your thoughts? Uh, let's see. What was your roughest day, I think? Uh, my, my roughest day? When the paycheck stopped? Yeah. Oh, what? <laughs> when the PBJ stops. That was hard. Nice. Uh, I didn't, uh, I wish I had something interesting to say, but uh, we were, uh, working, well, I'll say we were working hard, but everybody was, it was not, it was a team effort, but everybody was wrapped up in makeup, and you gotta do this, you gotta do that. Sam was doing his storyboards in the middle of the night, falling asleep out of your head. You didn't know what you were doing the next day. I don't blame Bruce for that. I blame Sam for that. But that son of a bitch. <laughs> I can't believe he wasted your time like that. <laughs> I'll talk to him, he's gonna care. <laughs> Destined for this mediocrity. Look, for looking, like a, for looking like a pimp. They were destined to that. But Takes yeah. a lot of sequels to buy yellow shoes, ladies. Let me tell you. <laughs> so yeah, it was it was a great experience. Um, toughest day besides the woods was um, getting kicked in the face and falling backwards blind into the cellar. Oh come on. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I think you bashed your head a couple times. Too. Yeah, because we had the context and then we couldn't see through. And plus, I was falling backwards, and the, the hole for the cellar was about four by four. So I had to react by, you know, being kicked in the face and fall back into this hole. And a couple times I missed and smacked my head on the edge of the It's it's known as living the dream. <laughs> Teresa, your thoughts, your highs, your lows, your ups, your downs. The oh. second nature to be now. <laughs> My lowest, I think, was being uh, nailed underneath the cabin floor um, after my body parts had been chopped up. I love how matter of fact she is. About that. Yeah. But but what was uh, on that same note that uh, it's also about Bruce because he was under the floor with. I think Rod Rock Capper was. I refused. Oh, I thought it was. I was above ground. No, Someone had to be the reasonable person to not get involved in that time pool. <laughs> Rod Capper, the producer, provided a leg and he got a horrible cramp. I thought it was you and Rod. Oh, maybe it was Ted. It was probably Ted Ring, Sam's anyway, brother Ted. There were, there were three of us under there, and, and during that shoot, Sam fell asleep at the wheel, and no one knew. And we were just pinned under there with. Oh my God! <laughs> 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 Laugh it up, Danny. <laughs> I can't even that too was bad. Yeah. yeah. So that was a fun memory. He said one sort of set the bar for pain and agony. I think. Uh, Betsy, you you had a blast, I know. Yeah, total blast. I think the um, worst part. I was trying to sit here all this time thinking of which was the top worst part. But there was a scene in which um, Linda is dragged out of the 
uh, Cabin by Ash. And after first take, Sam went, okay, fruit, Betsy, that was really good, but we want to do it again. So by that time, I had like huge hematomas on my back from literally going down the steps. Do you remember that? Hematomas, that's good, right? A hematoma? <laughs> so we, they, Sam had this brilliant idea to go out to the car, get a floor mat, and duct tape it to my back. How else are you going to keep it up? By this time, I'd already had a mild concussion, so I said, okay, whatever. <laughs> She wasn't thinking about it anyway. Which actually works fine until you then try to take the duct tape off your body. <laughs> and the best part, Bruce, I think you know what it was. <laughs> <laughs> when you constantly came to the room at the house and asked to rehearse that <laughs> You know, we're not, we're not going to go there right now. <laughs> we're going to keep this family alive. again. <laughs> How about you, lady? <laughs> Mr. Sullivan, the master disaster. Uh, why did you try and kill all of our actors with your special effects? Uh, Sam made me. <laughs> That's a good start. I remember somebody asked me what it was like working with, with you, and, and uh, I thought for people that wanted to, I'm not sure we said 50 words to each other. I remember back then you were really kind of a shy guy. That's and, me. And, and today, <laughs> and today we can't shut you up. <laughs> Definitely the highlight. Watching you do the uh, kitchen scene where your hands possess smashing things. Unbelievable! That that was not very. I think Bruce is one of the best physical comedians. It's like you know. All right. All right. Yeah. Everybody, everybody in the cast and crew, everybody asked permission to be there to watch that scene because we knew what he was going to do. We thought he was going to kill himself under yeah. the dishes. Yeah, it was so fucking funny. Oh, God. <laughs> Tom, you're very astute. <laughs> Joe Laduga, what you you weren't on set per se, but you had to like when you saw the actual footage of the actual movie, did you realize, oh crap, this is like a snuff movie or whatever? <laughs> did you think it was gonna be that extreme? Kinda like that. Yeah. But you have to realize that first of all, there is I'm gonna go into the good and the bad. But the, the, the torture, the physical torture that uh, was administered down the line here. I was feared. I have torture of another. Kind. Just mental <laughs> anger. But the uh, my first experience was walking in and meeting Bruce and Sam and Rob. And you have to realize they had a, an office next to a magic shop with movie cushions and, and buzzers. And you walked into this office. We gave a lot of business too. We <laughs> we bought every fake you bar bought, and like oh. a Fresca can that's filled with the, it looks like it has ruined a great tapestry. The office was a clubhouse. There's action figures. It was just like, what are you guys doing? And I walked in. There was a hot plate. And I think it was Bruce that said to me, would you like a cup of Joe? Joe? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was never like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. So he's getting a cigarette concoction. <laughs> anyway, in a former dentist. But they threw the greatest parties. And the, the first Evil Dead um, screening was at the old Redford Theater, Big Oregon. It was an ambulance out front. There was a gurney inside with a defibrillator and the light shining up into the sky. These guys know how to throw a party, right? I mean, and it happens today. You never know what's going to happen to them. Yeah, you got to be ready. It was the greatest. Now the torture part. Uh -oh. um, this is the long part. You got time? Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. I'll be brief. Bruce also is a brilliant sound designer um, and creates tremendous foley. All of those movies, all of those sound effects were there. And, and I would also get asked to contribute to that in what were called scare chords. And you need a big scare chord there. And you need a big scare chord there, which is basically a sound effect. So all of that goes very well. I've read lovely school this year. And we get to the mix. Well, Bruce is now very invested in these sound effects that he's created. Spent a lot of time putting them in there. <laughs> and cool. at that point, and at that point, music becomes sort of a necessary evil to get from one point to another. Where there's no sound effects. So you know that's the torture part for me. And so I abstain from going to many places. But did we not get better? <laughs> Army of Darkness. We were kind of. I think we heard. Yeah, some yeah, of your music. yeah. No, you're right. You're right. I, I had a moment. I think we heard some of it. 
Thank you. I tried to get it out of there, but it's we, true. you know, it's true. the best we could. And I remember I attended the mix. I was there every day. And Bruce would go, can I have more leathery leather? And how about some more chainy chains? <laughs> and Joe is like, where's my fucking music? <laughs> anyway, it's been a great thrill. Never lived that down, Joe. I appreciate that. Thank you, Bruce. And then Joe, obviously, you know, you, you went on to work with Rob Sam in television for ever. Yeah. Um, from yeah. Spartacus to Hercules to Xena. I mean, this is a man who's Yeah, there were some Xena fans this morning here, too. Yeah, so Joe's thread is long, deep, and repeated in all of our history. So let's do three final questions and we'll let you move on to your visible life. Yes, over here. Yes, sir. Something to break up the monotony during the shoot. What did you. What did you scandalous actors do? We were too exhausted. We drank moonshine, lady. What are you talking about? <laughs> drank moonshine, got drunk, and I went dancing with a southern woman at a place you could bring liquor in, but you couldn't sell it. We fell down on the dance floor three times, <laughs> and I said, Wow, you smell good. <laughs> what is that? She goes, Ivory soap. <laughs> So those were some diversions. I don't know what you, you people did. Danny, I'm sure you've got a story or two, or do you not remember? I remember lots of alcohol and softball. Softball? We played softball. You played too, Sunday softball. We did. What, what, what was Eagle Dead too? Like a, a party? Yeah. <laughs> we worked our asses off. We didn't get any breaks. There was no, oh, what are you doing in your meantime? You're in the street? Oh, no! Thank you, Al, for your vitriol. We started working at, uh, oh, maybe 6 o'clock in the evening, and then we worked till 6 o'clock in the morning. And then they'd say, okay, go get some rest, and then come back at 9. <laughs> well, you see, yeah, that's what you do. Come on. Jeez, like you're the best. Okay, second to last amazing question that must be answered by this panel. Yes. Fighting with my hand. How long did it take to shoot it? Uh, too long? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, like a day, a couple of days, something like that. No, the whole thing was miserable, sir. So there was like <laughs> one, one day, I, I can't remember one day that was more miserable than the next. <laughs> Between Evil Dead 1, Evil Dead 2, an army of fucking darkness. <laughs> I have no sympathy for any actor anywhere, except probably Ron Perlman. <laughs> Uh, so, okay, last one, last amazing question. Last, Ash, you want to add? You want to re be a rep representative? Yeah. How much alcohol was consumed between you that one and two? It's, it's irrelevant because nobody was working. What do you care? <laughs> that was a great last bad question. Hey, Bruce, Bruce, I have to ask you. Yes, sir. Raise your hand if you have sung songs of machete. Have I sung songs of Machete? Yeah. Have I seen? Have I seen or sung? In, in Machete Kills, there's a guard who looks... People claim it's me. Should we just say yes and let it be at that? I, I called Robert Rodriguez. I said, I really wanted to get in your movies. Got a starring role. He goes, yeah, we sure do. <laughs> That's all he used. <laughs> Thanks for that, Tom. Appreciate it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the panel, please big well, big round of applause for our yeah! Evil Dead panel. The ultimate Evil Dead panel. Thank you, Thank you for showing up today. Chop Star. Chop Star. Thank you very much. Oh, yes. Ladies and gentlemen.